Okay guys, so unfortunately we're back here again. I think it was just um, ironic that I had a silly problem with this remote. This is the Viper 7857V. It's the uh, rechargeable one where you can plug it down on the side. Um, I just did a video on if you drop it and this clip right here can come out and it went dead in the water and sometimes that's just your clip. And however, I'm actually having legitimate problems now. So I wish Viper would actually start making better remotes, although they make a great kit and a great system. Uh, the remotes are, this one's by far been the best. I've had this remote for probably two years. The other ones uh, that are not rechargeable of this style last like a year. And I use them pretty heavy, so sometimes it's as much as like eight months. But this one, like I said, has made it about two years and I felt like it's a little bit better made. I you know, went past the year marker and decided that this one it seemed like this one um, the buttons didn't wear out as quick so however uh, now it's actually starting to wear out so everything's um, I took the motherboard out and just by softly pressing all of them the unlock doesn't want to work so I'm softly pressing it and I'm actually I can feel the button actually actuating to where it's popping and it's not doing anything I go down to the start easy peasy So the lock and the start work just fine. Okay. Now I noticed when you bend the board, and this is a redneck fix, so don't anybody like, you know, I don't want to get comments on like, well, that's not the right way to do it. Just buy a new remote. But uh, the new remotes are like 90, 100 bucks, which is fine. If you want to buy one, cool. I'll, I'll probably just buy a new one here soon. But this is just a redneck fix to help get you by because when I started having problems with this last week, uh, my truck was locked and the alarm was on and I couldn't even get inside my truck. So then I just used the key to get in it and my alarm was going off for 15 minutes and I was that guy that couldn't do anything about it and I'm looking like a fool because my alarm's going off. So at least wise, this is a quick fix until you buy a remote. So I noticed that this, if you bend the board, it's something, at least mine is this way. There's no guarantee yours is, but it gets connection if the board is bent. So I'm pulling up with my finger right here and I'm pressing hard down into it oh hold on there it goes so let me see give you try to give you a better angle of that so I'm pressing down on the second button which is my unlock and I'm pulling up on the board with my left finger it's actually working if I do that so and then if I do it softly without bending it I get nothing. I have to press it hard as heck, and I'm still pressing hard as heck, and it's not doing it for so. For, for some reason, bending it that way makes it work. So at least wise for now, uh, I got some aluminum foil. Okay, I took uh, about roughly about this much, and I just put it in a rectangle. And then it's going to go right here on the top left corner of this. So it's kind of hard to put all this in, which is why I have you propped up and sorry, it's a weird angle, but I have to have two hands for this. Okay, so to put that in. So I already put this together once and it was working pretty well. I had to press kind of hard, but it still worked. At least why it was functioning. This little function button. I think I wish they would actually like just connect it in together as one piece because this thing is has, I've lost it so many times. Okay, here's the hard part. So now you gotta flip it over, keep everything together, keep that lined up. Cram it together. And try to Button it together. Oh, let's see. Let's see if it works now. See, look, works fine now. I did it the first time and it worked. I still had to press pretty hard, so this time I put a, a little bit more foil on the back side of it. Oh, didn't want to go that time. Oh, okay, so I have to press a little bit hard, but at least wise it's functioning and all the commands are working. And it'll get me by, you know, until I buy another remote in a couple weeks or so. So, anyways, another redneck fix for you.